Hello and welcome to more The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. We're here in Hyrule Town and I love the happy music, but there's no time for being happy, guys. Last time, we tried to make it across the Castor Wild Swamp and we kind of got stuck in the goo. So, we're gonna have to look for a new item to help us get across that crud. And, uh, well, let's just go get right to it. So, as we go through Hyrule Town here, you're gonna see this guy. He's a new person that's in town, but we'll deal with him in the next episode. Today, we are focused on our mission. So, we're gonna go to the shoe shop. We'll go right inside here. And suddenly, this guy. Hey, buddy. And he's going to fall asleep and knock down a pair of shoes down here. Unfortunately, those are not the shoes that I need. Nom, 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 nom. I guess that guy likes to eat in his sleep. I don't know. But we're gonna shrink down to minish size right here. And now the shoes magically disappear, and we can go up this way. And we can talk to some secret Minish. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, you're Link, right? You're the one who brought the sword to Master Milari. You're on a quest to help the princess, aren't you? I wish I could go on a quest, but then I, who'd make Rem's shoes for him? Ho-ho, you need Pegasus boots. Why, you're just in time. We would made a pair just now while Rem was sleeping, but only Rem can put the finishing touches on them. Aha, that sleepyhead Rem is nearly impossible to wake up. If you want to wake him, you'll you need to get an item from Syrup's Hut. It's a little bit of a trek, but we'll mark it on your map for you. So, they'll mark it on the map right over there in Minish Woods. All right, so that is where we need to go. Let's go down the ladder right here. And there's a couple of fusions that I want to get along the way in Minish Woods. I've actually already unlocked them back in episode 10, but just in case you're following along, the two that we need are these two right here, the Golden Octorok one and a treasure chest. For the Golden Octorok, you'll have to find someone thinking of a rupee that wants to fuse with a green slant. And for the treasure chest, you'll have to think of, uh, find someone thinking of a question mark that wants to fuse a green square. All right, let's go back to normal size and let's go back into Hyrule Town. There's a little bit more I want to do in Hyrule Town itself before we set off on our journey. Like talk to this guy, hey Brocco. Hey, hey, come on up. It's got beta carotene, people. It's good for your eyes. And yeah, good old carrots. I don't know how they know about beta carotene in the Zelda universe, but all right. Hey, hey, come on up and take a look. You're sure to see something you like. Um, yeah, bananas. I like bananas. Tell you the truth, I'm sick of fruit and I just plain hate veggies. Oh, no. Well, I want to go all the way up to the mayor's house. I guess I'll talk to some new people or some new black. I'll talk to people and get some new dialogue along the way. I've never seen the king like this. He's so angry, so impatient. I hear he's been just horrible to the guards, too. I don't know how she sees the guard, or how she sees the king. She's been standing in Hyrule Town this whole time. There's been a legend. Okay, so she doesn't actually have any new dialogue. But I want to go and finally fuse with Mayor Hagen. We've had this fusion open to us for a very long time. I guess first we'll talk to him. Ahem! That hole in the garden leads to a shelter of sorts, but it's not like I'm trying to run off and save myself alone or anything. Let's keep that in mind. So, we're going to fuse with him. What he wants to fuse with is these jagged teeth thingy red piece. So we'll go ahead and do that one. Again, this one is not random. This will always be here unless you've already done it. So there we go. And that will dry up some water right here over in Lon Lon Ranch. Before we couldn't get to it, but after talking to Rem and doing that whole talking to the Minish thing, the shoes and whatever, after doing that little segment, now we can actually access Lon Lon Ranch. So we're going to be able to go do this fusion, which is pretty awesome. There's a little bit more I want to do in Hyrule Town, though, so let's go jump down here. We'll explore Hyrule Town a lot more over the next episode or two. There's so much to do here, so I'm not going to do it all today, but I just want to talk to a few people so we don't have to talk to, like, 50 people in one episode. Man, I really want to get in there and play a few games. I can't believe they're still closed. So, yeah, that is still closed. Let's go all the way down here. I guess we'll talk to these guys. So, the Light Force is some kind of treasure that can grant it any wish. The king must be looking for it so that he can ensure peace in Hyrule. Exactly, that's got to be it. You know, I got pretty far in last year's tournament. I'm sure you did. I'm sad that the festival's over. Now that everyone's gone back to their routines, it's boring around here. Gee, it sure is boring around here. My boy. Well, let's go inside the cafe. This is where I actually want to be. This is my special time. Just me and my cup of joe. Here we have Bree. We actually know, like, most of these characters' names because of all the fusions. It seems the king has commanded all of the guards to search for magic power. Folks say that this light force will grant any wish, but I don't buy it. So this is Breve, this is Barris, this is Hurdy Gurdy Man who is obsessed with kinstone pieces. It's like all he talks about all the time. I don't think we know this character's name yet, but well, maybe someday. We do know this character, this is Chai. Cheers, yay, cheers, raise your milk for a toast. Can we just have the same thing for dinner tonight that we had last night? Uh, I don't know, man. Let's go talk to the barkeeper if we can. It's the last guy in here, we might as well talk to him as well. Everyone's so relaxed here, that's a good thing. My ideal cafe is a place where everyone can just let it all hang out. Oh, yeah! All right, so let's actually move on with our lives. What I want to do is push this aside and reveal a secret ladder that we can use if we flip this over and shrink down to minute size. So let's go up there. And actually, first, let's check out this little side room. There's a couple minutes to talk to. 
This cafe is so busy. You can hear all sorts of stuff from all the people here. I've got this one wearing pink, which is so cute. It's hard not to get stopped on or stepped on when there are so many people here. They have like postage stamps for their pictures on the walls. It's kind of funny. So let's go up top and let's go out this way. And that'll let us walk into this uh, little attic area. Where we have lots of minish. We've got some blue minish. What a nice smell. With the rotting apple next to you. I like those red hats the forest minish wear. I like those blue hats the town minish wear. So yeah, we've seen town minish, we've seen forest minish, we've seen mountain minish, and we've seen whatever that pink one was. I don't know if, what the pink one is supposed to be, but probably just a variant on town minish. So lots of little bits of dialogue here. Rotting cheese, rotting apples. I don't know, man. It's kind of weird. Down there you can actually see chai. I love that you can see the blown up versions of the scenes down below. It's kind of cool. But now we're going to go across, across this little bo uh, board into Stockwell's shop, where we'll have a new enemy. Here we have blue bulldozers. These guys will run around like crazy, and if they hit you, they will do half a heart of damage. Pretty scary, but they're still weak to shields, still weak to boomerang, so it's not too bad. Although I am tempted to get my gush jar out to uh, deal with this dust. There we go. Yeah, they'll take three hits even with our powered up sword, but now red bulldozers only take two hits with the new sword. Let's actually block this guy. There we go. And we still have some pestos. And mysterious shells, nothing too fancy, but I'll take it. Let's just clean up some dust. Gotta do at least something here, right? I gotta clean up a little bit. Even though the uh, moldos are not affected by the gust jar at all. Alright, so let's go down the stairs right here. I don't know why there's a staircase, but there is. Uh-oh. Um, hopefully he won't notice me. Hello, is anyone back there? No? Oh, well, I guess not. How odd! Well, let's go grow to bigger size here. Now, there might be an item you notice next to those bombs, that blue little sack, which is now covered by a text box, but that costs 600 rupees, so we actually can't buy it, even though we have 500 rupees right now. Egad, I knew there was someone here. When did you find your way back here? This area is for employees only. That is to say, me and me alone. Yeah, they actually can't see us when we're minish sized, so we don't have to worry about that, but once we're big, he can see us. I'm sorry, my good lad, but that is not for sale. That bottle contains food for my dear little dog, Fifi. Uh, it looks pretty empty to me. What? You just want the bottle? That's highly unusual. Well, fine. If you feed Fifi, then I guess you can have the bottle. How does that sound? I'll do it. Excellent, excellent. He's at my home right now. Thank you so much. All right, so we've got a bottle of dog food. That's fantastic. Allow me to mark the location of my home here on your map. And he'll mark a location that we have not yet been to. But I guess we're going to have to go there to feed his dog. I believe there should be a doggy dish for my dog back at my house. Just face the dish and press R to dump the food into little Fifi's bowl. All right. Well, I'm going to backtrack back out of this place. And uh, I guess we'll get started on all these little quests we have. So the first thing I want to do is go south to South Hyrule Field. There's a very important character here. The second best character in the entire game. You can see him right there. Oh, boy. He's second best character. Obviously, best character is Snot Kid. No one can top Snot Kid. But second best character right here. Let's go talk to him. That green cap and green clothes. Are you perhaps a fairy? Whoa! I knew it. I knew it. Tingle wants to be a fairy, too. Actually, Tingle has some kinstones, you know. And I have given kinstones to my brothers, too. If you confuse kinstones with me and each of my brothers, well, I don't want to give it away. But you'll get something very, very, very good. Good luck, Mr. Fairy. So let's go ahead and fuse with Tingle. Oh boy, we'll use a green slant right here. I love his little animation. Well, let's see what we got for this one. So if we fuse with Tingle, it will open up a little path in a tree right here, back in North Hyrule Field. I'm not gonna be collecting this for quite some time, but it's there, so eventually we will go and get that crud. So there you go. You fit perfectly. At last, Tingle can finally turn into a fairy too. That's definitely how it works. So let's go back to Hyrule Town and I'm gonna exit to uh, Lon Lon Ranch. Hey, Mr. Guard. Of course there's no light force here. What was I thinking? Stupid, stupid. I think that guy's a little bit too hard on himself. But here we've got Lon Lon Ranch, and now we've got these characters down here we can talk to, so we can actually get through this place. Hello. What a pain. And I was thinking of going into town to sell Lon Lon milk. Listen carefully. I love that little jingle. Let's go talk to this guy as well. I lost my key and I can't get inside, and the spare key's inside the house. Thankfully, they have a tiny minish-sized door, and there just happens to be a minish portal right here. So we can actually go and go inside and hopefully find that spare key for these dudes. So, in we go. There happens to be a minish portal on the inside as well, so that's also very convenient. Go ahead and break some pots, and there is the spare key. So let's go grab that crud. The Lon Lon Ranch key, now you can open the ranch door. Except we can't open the door. We have to go back to minish size, then exit, and then 
go back to big size and then talk to the guy. I don't know why we can't just open the door from the inside, but for some reason that is a thing. So let's do that. And let's go talk to this guy once again. Got your key, buddy. There you go. Oh, our one and only spare key. I don't know how you got this, but I can't thank you enough. Tell me your name, Sonny. Link? That's a great name. If you ever need to go to Lake Hylia, feel free to cut through our house. I mean, I guess I need to go there. I gotta deliver some food to a dog. Thank you very much, Link. Come visit us again. So yeah, where Fifi is, the dog we have to feed, they are in Lake Hylia. So that's where we're headed to. Let's go see if we can get a red rupee we don't need. Nope, not gonna happen. We'll talk to this guy one more time. He does have some slightly different dialogue here, I think. You really helped me out, Sonny. Nope, nope. It's <laughs> pretty much the same thing. Okay, more interesting dialogue. We can talk to a cow. He says moo with four O's. Let's talk to some other cows and see if they can compare. Of course, we're going to be in a field of grass, so I got to go back to being a human lawnmower. Up oh, four O's again, dude. The four O moo. That's crazy. All oh, that's why we cut grass, dude. We get kinstone pieces sometimes. And here is the water we dried up. Or the lack of water, I guess. The path we uncovered by fusing with Mayor Hagen. And inside... We get a big wallet. Now, we can carry even more rupees. We can carry 999 rupees, in fact. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good for ourselves. So now we don't have to worry about capping out at 500. These rupees we find actually matter. And another kinstone piece, what? Okay, the four omu. Are there any cow varieties? Are there any cows that do the three omu? Anything, dude? Come on, can I get more kinstone pieces? No. No, they're all four O's, dude. Hopefully we can find the legendary 5-0. Oh, tranquil. And those cows look so delicious. Ezlo, can't be talking about eating cows right now. You know I'm hungry. Nope, they're just they're just all 4-0s. All these cows are exactly the same, dude. Okay, I'm done being a lawnmower. Let's go inside. And now we can use our two sword to split into two. And we can push this block aside. Let's push this crud. Get ourselves a chest. And now that we got the bigger wallet, we can very easily carry these extra 50 rupees. So I wanted to make sure I got that wallet before I opened that chest. And now let's go talk to this guy. Ooh, Mr. Fairy, hello! My brother Tingle is always telling us about you. He says he owes a lot to you fairies, and I know he'd want me to thank you. In fact, he gave me some kinstone pieces that you might want to fuse. <coughs> what do you say? Wanna try it? So we actually cannot see this guy. He will not be here until we talk to Tingle. So I wanted to make sure I talked to Tingle before coming here. Oh my gosh, dude! We got another kinstone piece. But yeah, since we talked to Tingle, now this guy's here. Can we kill these acro bandits? Kill them! No, not him! Aw, oh, jeez! Now, I know I still have 78 kinstone fusions left to do. Don't... I'm trying to pick up the bomb! Okay, you know what? Just get exploded, dude. Come on, let me throw this bomb over there. Dang it, dude. I can't. I can't kill him. Anyways, let's fuse with this guy. And he's gonna want a green triangle. This guy's name is Ankle. Thankfully, I actually have some green triangles. I keep finding squares! I've got nine squares, dude! Like, all these kinstones I'm finding are squares. I need more triangles. But, right here, we've got another one of these trees getting uncovered here in North Hyrule Field. So once again, eventually we'll go get that crud, but not quite yet. So, we're done with that. We're done trying to kill that guy. Let's jump down here. Check out this oddly sparkling tree. I'm sure that won't be important for anything ever. And we'll go over here. Oh, gosh dang it. And Lake Hylia's to that side. Surf the Witch's Hut is down here. Unfortunately, it's blocked off by all water. So let's go do Lake Hylia first. Now, once we're here, we can't go down... Oh, I gotta get these bombs off. Uh, there we go. But down here we have this little hole, which we can't jump over the rock. Oddly enough, even if we use the cane, we still can't get over that crud. So, oh well. But we can go this way. Oh my gosh, another kinstone piece! How am I getting so many? Is it a square? Okay, it's actually a triangle. That's really good. Jeez, I can't believe how insanely lucky I'm getting today. I got pretty lucky in the last episode too, but back in part 10, no way. So you guys might have saw a quick little glimpse of another one of Tingle's brothers. Unfortunately, we can't jump down these stairs. We'll have to walk down them. I know I'm letting you guys down. Are you Mr. Fairy? Oh yeah, look at those clothes. You got to be him. I received some kinstone pieces from Tingle. He said I should try and fuse them with you, Mr. Fairy. So what do you think? Should we try to fuse? All right, let's go do our fusion. This time's going to be a green slant. Kind of wish there was some more green square action, but we'll fuse with David Jr. here. Just have so many green squares now. Even though I was at one point desperately looking for a green square. So, that'll open the third tree right here. There's one more to go. The unfortunate part is we can't get that fourth one for a long time. So it'll probably be a few episodes before we actually go and get all that crud. But there'll be some good rewards there. But we want to wait until we get all four 
just to get them all at once. So here we have the dog. Ruff, ruff. So let's go press R next to the food bowl, and then I'll dump the food in there, and we get the empty bottle as a reward, which is always, always handy. You can see we have our second one right there. And we could also flip over this, shrink down, and we could talk to Fifi, and we could even fuse with Fifi. So that is an option as well, but I'm actually not going to do the fusion right now because we can't go collect the reward quite yet. So I'm going to wait until we can actually get the reward to do that fusion. So we'll get that one in the future. But we are done with Lake Hylia for now, so let's move on. Let's go back to Lon Lon Ranch, and let's see if we can find some way to actually get to Syrup's Hut, even though it's blocked by a bunch of water. Thankfully, there is a way. So we'll just go to the north. You probably see the tornadoes. We'll be using those guys. Kill off that dude. If they drop anything, I'll go back and collect it. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Here we go. We'll push this rock in, and now we'll take this little crud to jump up this way. I'm not going to chop the grass quite yet, because when we shrink down to minute size, it'll just grow back. So I want to go to Minute Size first, not to go into the tornado, but just to go over this way, because there's a secret hole to go inside, with a little treasure chest for us to get, which is going to be a red kinstone piece. Can never have too many of those. Usually the ones I get overstocked on are blue, but reds and greens I usually want lots of. So let's go over this way, get back to big, and now we'll be a human lawnmower. I just gotta do it, guys. I've been cutting down like all the grass as we go so far throughout the game. <laughs> Wow! Another one. Is it a triangle? It's a square. We have ten squares. Oh, well, that's fine. Can never have too many kinstones. So I want to do something just for the sake of cutting all the grass. I'm going to go down this way. There's a secret little ledge that uh, just has a few pieces of grass on it for me to cut. There we go. But where we actually want to go is straight down. Just going to hold straight down here. And eventually that'll put us up on this ledge. There we go. Very nice. Okay, got some mysterious shells. Now, mysterious shells, the game will give you so many, especially when you're doing fusions, or when you're doing uh, the fusions, getting the chest and all that crud. So it's not too big of a deal. As long as you're only spending one at a time, you'll basically be able to get all of them with just a, with less than a thousand, let's put it that way. So as long as you're not spending like 10, 20, 50 shells for one figurine, it's gonna be just fine. But with this tornado, we can go across the water, chop that guy down. Hopefully he didn't drop anything, because I'm not going back for it. Okay, we'll, go, we'll grab that rupee at least. And we're back in Lake Hylia, but we're just going to quickly pass through here. I'm going to go this way back to Lon Lon Ranch real quick, because we can push this boulder aside. And that'll give us a shortcut through here. But we can also go up here and now take this tornado to get to the other side, where there was going to be a, another rock for us to push. So, just opening up more pathways. We need to go over to this other tornado to get boosted up. And onto the ledge. So we'll go down, we'll push this guy aside. And I want to go over to this Goron and actually fuse with this dude while we're here. Hmm, you want to fuse Kinstones? Okay, that sounds good. So we'll use the blue six or teardrop, whatever you want to call it. And here we go, fusing with Mr. Goron. And that will do something kind of special. Usually there's some interesting stuff when you fuse blues and reds and stuff. But this will actually make a new character appear in Hyrule Town. It's going to be the Goron Salesman. So we'll have to go see what this guy's actually selling, but well, maybe he'll tell us, I don't remember. But he'll have some dialogue here. It's been a long time since the last time I visited Hyrule. I think I posted a little place. Okay, yeah, so he'll tell us he'll sell his kinstones. So, yeah, we could actually just directly buy kinstones. The problem is they're extremely expensive. The good part is you don't have to have luck as a factor like you do with, uh, with the bakery, but the prices are pretty steep, as you'll see once we go check that out. We're going to go back here, and this time we're going to, I guess, kill this guy. I guess we'll read the sign. This way to Mayor Hagen's Lakeside Cabin. So we'll go down there. But it's also going to be where Syrup's hut is. So down we go. And now we're in Minish Woods. This is where two of the fusions we did before are going to be. One of them is the Golden Octorok. These guys are faster than normal Octoroks, and they'll shoot three things at a time. The downside to them is, or the thing that makes them not that threatening, is they can only shoot in cardinal directions. They can't shoot diagonally. So as long as we stand at a diagonal, they can basically never hit us. Although they have a lot of HP, as golden enemies tend to have. But yeah, as long as you know this strategy of just staying in the uh, diagonal from them, you're good to go. 100 rupees, up to 664 rupees already. Now let's go over here. This is another fusion we did, so this will have a chest with a blue kinstone piece. And down here, we can finally get this heart piece that has been taunting us since like episode two, three? It's been a while, I don't remember, but yeah, we've been being we've been taunted by that heart piece for a very long time. So now with that, we're gonna go over this way and read this sign, sure. Mayor Hagen's Lakeside Cabin, all digging absolutely prohibited. Fine, I won't dig. I don't even have a shovel or anything, so it's fine. Just a little bit more grass here. Can we get one more kinstone piece to wrap up this episode? Come on. 
No, not gonna happen. Maybe right here. And no, okay, my luck is worn out. Syrup the Witch's Hut, in we go. So inside here, we've got two things that we can buy. First off, we have a blue potion. The blue potion is kind of expensive. It costs 60 rupees, but you can put it in your bottle. You can use it whenever you want, and it will, it will heal you for eight hearts. The only thing is the fairies that you can just go get for free, they'll heal you for like five hearts. So I don't know, man. You could spend the 60 rupees if you want, but personally, I'd rather just use fairies. But the thing I'm actually here for is this right here. Ah, yes, a fine choice, my dear. That's a limited time article. One whiff and you're wide awake. That is why it's called the Wake Up Mushroom. Would you like to buy it for 60 rupees? We are going to go ahead and buy that. This is what we actually need to wake up Rem. And it's actually required to beat the game. <laughs> just face the sleepy snoozer and press R. That'll pop his eyes right open. Pop! All right, so let's go back to Rem's shoe shop and wake this guy up with uh, the sleepy mushroom. I'm definitely not going to walk down those stairs. Ha! Oh, Rem, I've got a mushroom for you. If I recall correctly, and I guarantee that I do, my boy, I think Syrup said to stand in front of a sleeping person and press R. I'll, I'll just uh, invoke my inner pirate. R. Whoa. Wah! What is that terrifyingly bad smell? A wake-up mushroom? I should have guessed, so you woke me up. Thanks, I just remembered I have something urgent to do. Huh? Oh, huh, what now? There are more new shoes? Hmm, you probably won't believe this, but I have a strange habit of making shoes in my sleep. So you must have come here because you want some of my shoes, right? Tell you what, because you were nice enough to wake me, you can have them. Hold on a sec, though. I just want to finish this one last bit. So yeah, the Minish make the shoes while he's asleep, but he's the only one able to put the finishing touches on them. And there we go! Here, take these! These are my special Pegasus boots! They're so light, you'll feel like you're practically walking on air. You got the Pegasus boots! Hold the button to run faster than the wind! Alright. Ooh, I need to hurry up and get working on that special order. The king asked me to make some shoes for Princess Zelda, you see. Thanks for waking me up. Come back if I can ever help you with some shoe problems. All right, guys, we now have the Pegasus Boots, which are very, very awesome. We can now run extremely quickly and uh, have my head go through the ceiling or through the wall right there. That was strange. But yes, we will no longer need to roll everywhere because now we can travel very, very quickly just by using these boots, which is very awesome. But guys, with that... We're going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. These boots will allow us to go across the swamps in Caster Wild, but there's also a lot of stuff still to do in Hyrule Town, so I don't know. We'll see what happens in the next episode. But uh, I'll see you guys then. Take care.